Hi! So I am making black beans and as soon as they're done, I'm done with this. <laughs> But I wanted to give this traveling YouTube vlogging a try. I am currently back from a Euro trip that I loved and it just infected me with the travel bug. So I am off and I am going to Guatemala this time. Well, I'm actually going to Costa Rica and then Guatemala. And in Costa Rica, we're going to spend, me and my friend, we're going to spend two weeks there. Then we're going to go to Guatemala and spend two weeks with my family. I've never met them, so it's going to be like a new thing. But I am also going to do, after those two weeks, I'm going to go into a volunteer program, which I just got accepted. I just need to do a few more stuff, but I, I got the congratulations email, so I got accepted, right? <laughs> so I'll be there from August to three months later. I'll be back in November. So this video is mostly will we'll be about um, the backpack I will be using. I am more of a the less the better because I don't want to carry a whole bunch of stuff with me A that I don't end up using and B I'm just really not that girl like that wants to go in a to a new country and be like I'm here bees <laughs> like, this is me I'm more like let's assimilate like I want to get to know the culture like I want to become one with the people that type of thing and um, I've never been to Guatemala so it's like a foreign country like my parents are there are from there but I've never been if you don't count when I went when I was like three or nine months and anyways like I don't want to bring my Americanness there I want to see what's there um, so I want to bring the least amount of items as possible and I learned a whole bunch of things from Europe like, what not to bring what to bring and like what I really need to survive for Europe I went ahead and bought the Tortuga bag. Um, this is $1.79 online. They only sell it online. I've never found it in stores, but um, it's like a like a really an indie con um, company that a lot of business people know about. And I found out through Light by Coco, and she has this one. And I was like, oh my god, that's so cool! Like. I, that's like the perfect size. I, it's a carry-on. Um, I don't have to check it in, which personally, I don't like checking things in because I think like that money, I'd rather use it where I'm going than pay the airline for stuff that I'll eventually not use. So I try to limit myself to this backpack or like to always a carry-on. The thing is that... Um, I need to take my laptop and this was, this has like a compartment here for a 15 inch laptop and I, I have this Asus, like it has, it's like if I would have bought this on a smaller size it would have been like $2,000 and I get this for $800. So this is not supposed to fit in here. but. It, you know now that I want to start blogging or like vlogging and like you know doing all that which I did for my Euro trip but it was pure snapchats so all my friends like you know you should do a vlog well like okay <laughs> let's do it right okay so I love this because it's like a suitcase in a backpack and I don't have to like carry anything um, it nicely fits on top of the carry-on I just I get to carry it and like since I knew I wasn't gonna take taxis I knew I was gonna go on the metro in Europe in Europe in Europe um, then I didn't really want to get like one of those um, draggy things roller suitcase <laughs> you straight out look like a tourist if you're like 
in like streets, small streets in Europe and be like, where is my hotel? At least with a backpack, you can kind of blend in. And that's what I wanted because this doesn't look like a touristy backpack. It looks like something you could like go to work in. Let me show you the inside. What I like is that it zips all around. So it's like a suitcase and I love this because when I get to my um, my Airbnb which I use or like hotel I just open it up and there all my stuff right there I think it's gorgeous I love it because of the simpleness it doesn't really have anything else and it's it's just this is like the front pocket you can put little stuff here and then it has like a, a kind of um, a little bag where you can fit like your glasses or something that you want to take I loved it, but at the same time, my back was hurting. I think this is like, be warned. If you're like into getting an Uber once you land and telling your Uber, okay, this is where I'm going, please take me or a taxi or you're, you have a car waiting for you. This is perfect for you because if it's everything you need to, you need and on like a three day I wanted to push myself so I went for two weeks two and a half weeks on this only perfect um, but you just have to like from you get up from the airplane go and go to your taxi and boom it's like sufficient support I, it has it's really comfortable and then the back has like a really nice um, support and it also has this support like if you do manage to over overstuff your suitcase you just add this to the front and then miracles miracles you're back but I am the type of person that goes from the <laughs> from the plane puts this on and then once this is on I go ahead and try to find how do I get from the airport which I've done research before I get there but like how do I where do I get this bus all in all it usually takes me like two hours from the airport to my Airbnb or hotel two to three hours depending on like I always want to stop somewhere to get a sim card so I have to go to the like a liquor store or, I mean I don't know what's in Europe I forgot but a store that sells sim cards like I mostly want to go and grab a sim card because that's gonna help a lot I won't need Wi-Fi I, I could just like not get lost because I will always have my phone so with everything by the time I get to my Airbnb it usually takes three hours at the most three, three hours yes the support is good but you need something more you just need it or unless you're you have a like a fantastic muscles muscles in your back that you're okay with just handling this I wasn't <laughs> so that's what I learned so I went ahead and ordered the red wing um 40w I went to REI, which they didn't have this one. They just had the Red Wing 50, which I was debating whether to get this one, the women's one, the W for women, or the Red Wing 50 for men, which that one is adjustable. So even if you're on the taller side or on the lower side, I am a small, they measured me, I am a small 17 spine back. So I would need a small, um, this one fits between an extra small to like an 18, 19, I'm not sure. But I'll link all the dimensions and everything below. Um, they didn't have it, but I was like, I really want to carry something more because this laptop is almost 17 inch um, and it and it weighs more than a Mac, like the Mac Air, which was my previous laptop. So that was a big change, but my Mac Air couldn't do anything except for like watch Netflix. So I needed to upgrade. I went to go and try on the 50 at REI and the 50 was, yes, you can adjust it down, 
but since it's meant for men, if you're on the taller side of like the spine spectrum, then I think it'll be fine because it is adjustable. But for me, the back spine of the backpack like literally had me like hunching because I had it down so low that it went like that. And I was like, oh, this is not comfortable. And it's supposed to be comfortable. And one thing I learned with this backpack is that A, I want everything to be light. <laughs> everything that I'm carrying, I want it to be light. And like, I don't want to take stuff that I don't need because I am carrying it for three hours, right? And then B, like, you know what? The backpack has to be comfortable. No matter what, light, light and comfortable. And that wasn't comfortable. I'm like, no. I was like, well, maybe I could work this out. And like, my head was like, no, you're gonna be, you're gonna hate yourself. Just go ahead, get the 40 version online. And this is specifically meant for women because I tried on the women's backpack at REI and it felt so comfortable. So I was like, okay, so let me order this one online. And I went ahead and ordered it. Um, it came in yesterday. I have Prime. Um, so it came in two days. And then free returns. Like if I don't want it. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, and this one I researched, researched. And I thought this was perfect. Because I still want a backpack that doesn't. It's not colorful. And like when you're like, oh, there's a backpacker. Oh, she doesn't belong here. Yes, I am going to stand out. But not as much as I would if I took like a really bright one. This, at first glance, can you guys tell? Four inches, four inches taller than the Tortuga. The Tortuga is the dimensions, even if it's all like puffy and like overstuffed, unless you're like have something sticking out, 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 um, it will be allowed as a carry on. This one is not like the dimensions. It's not supposed to be carry on, but I've seen so many people like get through an airport and they don't even say anything. When I research this backpack, a lot of people say that most flights do not mind. They'll be like, yeah, whatever, like a few inches. And if you're carrying the taller ones, like the 80 one, of course, they're not going to allow you to do that. But this one, it's like, could go under the ra radar. I mean, I mean, you are risking it. If you want that spine, right? And then it has that breathable air so you won't sweat. The Tortuga has it too. And then it has like the same thing. But what it has that the Tortuga, the carry-on Tortuga does not have, is this right here which will lay on your hips I mean it will do miracles for your back right and then a lot of people one complain is that you if you are taking it as a carry-on this is like gonna fly all over but you know what this came like this so if you are trying to find like a hack this this side goes under and then I mean I had two hands this side goes under and then the buckle and then if you are taking this as a carry-on I think this is a good way to have it inside the compartment there's a lot of um, videos that I'll link about like going more into depth and I'm just gonna give you my um, my opinion so I this is why I ordered it because a lot of type of backpacks they just have like a it's like a big hole then you can tie it and then that's how you close the backpack but this one is similar to the tortuga where it opens up not that much but it does and as you can see it holds since this is a 40 and that's a 28 it holds or 26 up i think it holds four more four more pounds than the tortuga and then this is supposed to be um a dual bag that everybody tells you it's on there for a laptop or a a water bag the same at the same time they don't tell you like the dimensions for this so I was like, okay like let me just order it this is trash turnable it's not that like puffy like 
if you feel this this is like a normal or the way I like my laptop looking because I want my laptop to be protective this is very it has like one layer and that's it so it's not the best and then when I put my laptop in here here let me do it here you guys see it fits like a glove but at the same time like ugh, you never know when there's like a um, there's protection here, but on the back you can feel, whoa, you can feel the back spine of the backpack. It's not flat, it has like bumps. So I'm really, really scared that my, my laptop, you know, if anything happens, yes, it's going to be safe here and it may not get like her or I'm worried about it going in half so if you had a smaller one like a 15 inch or even smaller than that I think this is perfect but for me I want more protection for this one so I was like well wait a minute so this is a tutuga and it fits oh my god like it fits but yet, I still can have my protection even more. This is protected. It's the same amount of protection as the back as that. But it doesn't have like a structured spine as the, um, as the red wing. This is more of a flexible spine, but it has a lot of padding. This here is my Logitech. Um, this is a 17 inch one because they don't make specific like fit like a glove to my um laptop okay this would not fit in there but my laptop fits like this which you could take it like that but i mean this cost eight hundred dollars it wasn't two thousand by no means but eight hundred dollars is still something so i can even like zip it up and put it in here and it fits, I mean it fits, and there you go. But since this one only fits 36 pounds, I'm gonna really have to cut on everything else. Since it's not structured, when I really filled this up, this backpack curved. But now that I know that my laptop is in there, I may not fill it up as much as I would have. My final decision is to keep the Tortuga because at least I can manage what I put in the front as where this one, I love the support, but I won't need the support if I don't bring my laptop. So what's the point of me having this one if I'm not going to bring my laptop where I just would be sufficient. Maybe in the future I can go up or something or like buy something in Guatemala or Costa Rica where it'll fit perfectly but as of right now the red wing is not really sufficient for me because it does seem like a high school backpack and for four pounds be perfect if it fit my laptop but it doesn't and that's the whole purpose why I got this keep in mind if you don't want to bring or you have a big laptop as I do or you want that extra four pounds I think this would be the best alternative for you because um Kelt Kelty what was it yeah Kelty from all my research this is one of the best brands out there and it's the most affordable so they won't get your arm and a leg just to get a good backpack and this keep in mind is a good backpack I've seen and I've gone to REI and like all of that where the material is really really cheap and it's so it's just like material that like let's say you puncture it with like 
uh, an earring or something and then you puncture it and then that's it it'll rip where this one you'll puncture it and then you know what like it won't stretch out that's how good of a material it is so I would go for the Kelty um, and then it has all these features where it's like uh, but it, it doesn't fit it doesn't have the requirements that I want because I really want to take you guys with me and I think it'll be a fun experience and I've seen youtubers that actually are going and are doing everything with a simple backpack with a backpack like this and guess what I'm going to Costa Rica in August that's so it's gonna be raining but I'm taking a lightweight raincoat so everything on the internet tells me you're going to a warm weather climate a very tropical climate so you don't really have to bring anything all you have to bring is like bikinis <laughs> I'm ready <laughs> and like other stuff but not really like not really heavy stuff um, if you guys want to see what I'm taking and everything um, you know it'll be my pleasure to show you one last thing that i do want to mention that you know that's why another thing i am keeping my curcuda is because i bought the e-bags and i did a whole bunch of research on it i just got them yesterday and i kind of did a mock trial with this um and i'm taking these so my backpack will be a little bit more structured um than i did i'm not gonna have three pairs of shoes as I did for Europe. Um, I only took two pairs of shoes to Europe but I went to Barcelona and in Barcelona the prices are fantastic. So I ended up buying two Nike shoes and one Yeezy shoes. The Yeezys or Yeezys? I would say it wrong. Yeezy shoes and I was like A. I'm not really into brands but those are freaking cute so I had to buy them so I ended up with four four shoes in my backpack in the Tortuga lightweight but it just made it so I think now that I know what to bring and what not to bring what I'm actually gonna buy there because I do tend to buy clothes from there and I think that'll be uh, a good thing I bought this tray from England and when normally it's like oh my god it's so tacky but it was on clearance it was a dollar and guess what like I use that for like my cafe con leche which I got used to going to Europe like my cappuccino and then a piece of bread and I use it as my little tray and it just has like even though it looks tacky but hey I bought it in England and it's like the best thing and everything that I brought from there it's like a special memory because I remember when and where and how and what everything so I do tend to buy stuff so I'm gonna go and hopefully not buy it I mean buy what I want because I only buy what I love but just not take so much stuff and if I come back with like a duffel bag full of stuff it's fine I'll check it in but if I don't, then I think the Tortuga will be sufficient. Just not buying shoes unless I mow them back to my house. But yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again. I, please subscribe and thumbs up. And if you guys want to see any videos, um, I'm going to keep them coming. And hopefully you like it. Bye.